Hey everybody, it's Troy. A customer was asking me how to do captioning on Mac. Let's jump in. I've got here a video uh, and I'm simply counting to 10 at different paces. You'll understand why in a second. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, uh, captioning required text. All we got is audio. We need text. Now, there are a bunch of different ways of doing it. I'm going to show you the aftermarket tool we have called Audiate, which is the best way that I've seen to generate the text and the SRT files. There's a super manual way of doing it if you want to. Um, you can Google how to get captions from YouTube, but check this out. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go to export and I'm going to export audio only. I will uh, choose a WAV file and I'll put it in a folder here and uh, let's, let's count, we'll call this one counting two and I'll export it. it takes only but a second uh, to give me the audio and I'll reveal that in Finder. Fair enough. Now over to Audiate. Uh, Audiate is a tool, try it for free. I'm gonna go to import my audio. Cool goes through a process of transcribing that audio doing voice recognition and there we go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten uh, also what's kind of cool is if i really want to i can um, take out ums and ahs and kind of uh, those types of things in the audio and just simply by editing text if i wanted to uh, i can re um, I can redo that. Uh, I can rephrase that um, 17 or something like that, right? Uh, but I can put that in there. And uh, even if I want to, uh, I can even, sorry, I can even delete that word. So the audio sounds like this. Five, six, eight. Anyways, it's kind of cool stuff. Okay, back to the task at hand. From here, we're going to go export a script and... Uh, we're going to call this one counting and uh, we don't want a text file we want an SRT file I'll put that back in this folder over here script exported if you made any changes to the audio well, by all means um, go ahead and send the audio back as well either export the audio or send it back to Camtasia all right back into Camtasia here uh, I am going to uh, hit the plus button import the media and I'll go back to that folder and I can select the SRT file, choose import. Oh, and all of a sudden some numbers show up under here. Now, uh, this is what you need to do. And this is the trick. Uh, it shows up here as a track here. It's not well labeled. My apologies. This whole process is uh, honestly not perfect, not even close, uh, but I can get you there. Okay. Uh, so with this, uh, you're going to click on here and then you'll notice over here in the properties window if you don't see the properties click over here and then there is show caption track okay wait a second it usually takes like five or ten seconds here and this will eventually turn into uh, the actual chunks of captions if that doesn't work for you um, I usually move the zoom tool here to be able to see it and I've got a, a caption here and a caption here. By the way, if I want to, I can Six. change the caption to be right here. Okay. Um, also, if I want to, I can move this caption maybe to be right here. So let's see. Let's see what this Six. caption says. Seven. Okay, that actually worked pretty well. This Eight. one. Eight. Nine, ten. All right. Now, uh, let's say with this one, I want one just for eight because there was that pause on there. So I'm going to split this caption and that one. And again, I can move that back and forth, eight. Um, but I don't want nine and 10 in there. So let's cut that out. And then I go over nine, here ten. and uh, just paste in nine, 10. So I've got eight, eight. nine, 10. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Not bad, right? I mean, that reasonable six seven all right anyways that's how that works if you need to make adjustments uh, you can change font background color opacity etc here and then when you go and export that as a local file uh, it will let's uh, do this real quick um, we're going to call this one uh, counting mp4 it's going to burn those captions into the video meaning it's in there for good right it's not going to change 
the other option that's if you go to local file uh, let me show you what that looks like when I go to counting mp4 one two three four now you see how it's burned in there now the other option is you can uh, if you if you happen to be hosting on um, on screencast.com then the caption is not burned in it's like an option that you can like go into the player and you can choose it uh, from a drop down to turn it on or off but that is it folks uh, thank you for watching the video I sure hope it helps and uh, Godspeed